Okay. The third way, or the third triangle, is a right triangle. So what is a right triangle? One angle equals 90 degrees. And then those are the three major big ones, but there's another one. It's called equal angular. And so all three angles are congruent. So there's 180 degrees in a triangle, so all three angles would equal 60 degrees. What do we call it when we have two congruent sides? Say it louder. It's an isosceles triangle. Good job. And what's the other one could be? Where all three sides are congruent. If a triangle is equal angular, it has to be equilateral and vice versa. If a triangle is equilateral, it has to be equilangular. And as we go through this, through this, I'll show you a little bit why. Isosceles. All right, so let's play a little bit. So let's draw an acute scaling triangle. So to do that, acute, all three angles have to be less than 90, right? So if all three angles are less than 90, maybe back in here someplace, uh, Let's just kind of draw it so it's almost 90. But instead of being 90, it would just be a little bit off. So there's my acute triangle. So I'd, if I wanted to, I could sit here and say, okay, this would be 89 degrees. This would be um, 60 degrees. And this would be 31 degrees. So it's acute, right? Now this is a kind of a cool thing to know, is that the smallest side, the smallest side of a triangle is always going to be opposite the smallest angle. So if 31 is my smallest angle, this means that that side is going to be my smallest side. And if this side over here is 60, it's my medium angle, right? It's the angle in the middle of the two. So this would be my medium length side. My biggest angle is 89 degrees, so that would be opposite my longest side. And so therefore all three sides would be different lengths. So it's acute because all angles are less than 90, is scalene because all angles are different. Let's try acute isosceles. So acute isosceles means 
that all the angles have to be less than 90, right? And then two of the sides have to be congruent, right? Now, what did I just say about angles and sides? The angles have to add up with 180. But what did I say about the biggest side and the biggest angle? The biggest side will always be opposite of the biggest angle, right? The smallest side will always be opposite of the smallest angle. So what does that mean when I have two sides that are congruent? Okay. What it, what it means that these angles opposite of those sides, they have to be congruent also. Because if these two sides are equal and they're my biggest sides, then these two angles would have to be equal and they'd have to be my biggest angle. Okay? So that would be an acute isosceles triangle. Could I have a right isosceles triangle? How could I draw a right isosceles triangle? Can't? So if I draw a right angle, there's no way I can make those two sides the same length. So I can make those to the same length, right? Okay. Now the third side won't be right. But again, so if this angle here is 90 degrees, what's the measurement of this, you know, and these two angles, or these two sides are congruent? That means these two angles are congruent, right? So what would be the measurement of this angle? How did you do that? Very good. So 180 degrees for all three, right? You take away 90 for the 90, that leaves you 90 degrees, right? If these are equal sides, you just divide the 90 by 2, and half here, half here. So 45 and 45 and 90. So that would be in a right isosceles triangle. Could I make an obtuse isosceles triangle? How could I do an obtuse isosceles triangle? All I would do is start off with an obtuse angle, right? So now how do I make, so it's an obtuse, so how do I make it isosceles? <coughs> What's isosceles? Does isosceles measure eight legs, sides, or angles? Sides. So for isosceles, what do I know about the sides? They're two of the same sides, right? Same lengths. So... Could I then make these two sides congruent? If that's an iso or a obtuse angle, and then I make these two sides congruent, so if that side's congruent to that side, and this angle is greater than 90, that would be an obtuse isosceles triangle, right? So then what would be the measurement of this angle right here? Say it louder. 40. 40. Why? Perfect. So since these two sides are congruent, the base, they're called base angles, are congruent. So this angle would be 40, and this angle would be 40. And all three angles would have to add up to 180.
So that pretty much took care of the isosceles triangles. We did acute scalene. Can I do a right scalene triangle? How could I do a right scalene triangle? So I want to take care of the right part first. So I just draw a right angle. So now how do I make a scalene triangle? What does scalene mean? Three different lengths, right? So then all I have to do is make sure that these two sides are not equal, right? <coughs> and so now, draw this line. And by doing that, so now, the side opposite the 90 degrees, that would have to be my biggest side, right? And since these two sides are different sizes, those two angles would have to be different sizes, right? So, Right angle, three different sides. Size sides. And how could I do an obtuse scalene? How do I draw an obtuse scalene? Say that again. So I'm going to start off with an obtuse angle, right? And then make sure those sides are different because the third side is going to end up being the biggest side, right? So if those two sides are different, the third side's opposite the obtuse angle, it's got to be the biggest side. So those sides are all different sizes and my angle is greater than 90. it would be an obtuse scaling triangle. And with all that, you should be able now to do problems 1 through 10.